Hey, what's up my guys? I am in Aomori Prefecture. I am so excited to be here. I've always wanted to come here and there is so much snow outside. It's so light and fluffy. We just arrived. It's about a three hour Shinkansen from Ueno Station. Oh my god, there's all these kids. <laughs> Cute. And we're at our first stop of the day, what I say, it's like a museum of the paper sculptures, what would you call those? Paper dolls that they use in a lot of the really popular festivals here. So I'm excited to head on in and learn all about them. Let's go! The Nebuta festival is held here between the 2nd and 7th of August every year and they make about 20 large size Nebuta floats that are taken down during the procession and the crowds reach, reach 2 million. How crazy are these? They're huge! One of these huge floats, like look how big this is, takes about three months to make and it's really cool being here because otherwise at the Nebuta festival you would be surrounded by two million people and you won't get to appreciate the fine details of it. Whereas if you come here, you can. You can see it all up close and take your time and look at it. Isn't it amazing? they actually have some that you can touch oh wow that is the softest paper I've actually ever felt but it's like sturdy but like so soft how crazy so we finished up at the Nebuta Museum and we just came right across the way like you can see the museum there to this like warehouse factory it's called a factory and it's really cool there's a couple of restaurants cafes like a burger place and then you can buy like all this omiyage everything that is made from apples they sell it and it's in this really cool looking place it's awesome i dig it into Aoga fish market now which is this like, sleepy quiet little fish market it's like so cute with all the old grandma and grandpa serving all the fish and like they're like falling asleep and stuff this place actually opens at five and it's about midday now so all the excitement is over for the day here but it's really cute and you can come and buy the fresh fish or eat at one of the restaurants here and grab something to eat for lunch we ended up coming back the first museum and they have a buffet here all you can eat sashimi it's amazing and look i forgot to mention just here is the water there's a ship just there and this is the a factory here how cool is that it's like right on the water it's it's such a nice place around here and lunch was amazing can you see <laughs> It's almost as tall as me. Ah, I love it. We're now at the Aomori Art Museum. Look at this piece. It's pretty neat. I don't know how much I can film in here, if any at all, but I'll try to film what I can. Let's go.
finish up at the Aomori Art Gallery, come outside and it is snowing, it's so beautiful. That place was amazing. If you guys like art and architecture like me, then you're gonna love this place. Honestly, it's just so like big and wide and white, like all the walls are white and the windows and the light and everything and then the floor is like really earthy and brown and the art is amazing. I couldn't film anything in there except for the dog but it was gorgeous, even the bathrooms were amazing. <laughs> I really enjoyed that and like look at this. just arrived at the Ryokan they put this amazing tea and red bean like soup out for us now I'm gonna read you the name but I have to read it out for myself because it's a little difficult we are in Ajigasawa it's at Ajigasawa Onsen called Suigu no Yado Suigu, Suigu Yonado in Aomori and it's the cutest little place the staff are so sweet I love it let's let's go to the room で、それでとね、で、こちらの方ですね、これはお茶のお湯。お茶のお湯ね。で、これ、冷たいから差しとくからまだ温かくないから、で、こちらのはお水。ね。うん、お水、これお茶飲む時これに入ってるからね。これ
check out the view this is through the blinds how amazing just snow snow everywhere we're here at dinner and i was cold so they put the heater here and like gave me a blanket how nice this looks amazing Nabe has milk in it. This is fish sperm. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that dinner was amazing that was epic i didn't finish a single thing there was so much food it was insane the staff here are just so accommodating it's it's absolutely amazing how polite and hospitable they are i'm gonna take my makeup off and go on sand now unfortunately i can't bring you guys with me the cool thing about this ryokan is is like there's many meeting rooms and like dinner rooms and things like that so people that live around here come and use the onsen they come to the restaurant um and there's a lockout i suppose of 9 p.m where guests can use guests only can use onsen from 9 till 11. so it'll be a bit less busy but it is like 7 30 now i'm so tired so i'm just gonna go onsen because there's no bath in my room so i have to and i'm gonna stop talking now It's onsen time! That onsen was amazing. Oh my goodness. So you walk in and there's two baths, indoor baths, a whole ton of wash stations. And then outside, oh my god, it's like snowy everywhere and there's these lights in like the trees that light them up. And there's this like boat style onsen. I'll put a picture here. And it kind of smelled funny, it was kind of slimy. I'm sure there's a reason behind that. But <laughs> it was so good just sitting in like the walk from the door to the hot spring was insane. It was, I was like minus degrees naked running out there. And then you hop in and it's like 40 degrees and you even out and it's amazing. It like the view, I wish I could take a picture. It was so beautiful. This onsen, there's so many like antiques and replicas and art just scattered all around. And then it's just windows everywhere. So you can look out onto like the snow blanketed gardens and oh, it's so nice. <sighs> I'm gonna go to sleep now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please stay tuned for tomorrow's vlog. We have just hit 4.5K as of today and I am so excited. Please make sure you subscribe, share this video if you want, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night.